at the end of my college experience, I really wasn't quite sure what I wanted to do, to be honest. I had, um, I thought about city planning. I knew I wanted to do something in government. I wanted to do something that would allow me to be instrumental in development and, you know, policy considerations and those kinds of things. But I really just wasn't quite sure what you call that. And that's when you become a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, um, I have an aunt, um, my dad's youngest sister, who's exactly 10 years older than I am, and she's an attorney and in New York. And so I thought, oh, well, I'll go to the law school like Aunt Joan, you know, and figure it out later. And that's essentially what led me to law school. And then when I got there, I figured out why I was there, because as one of my professors told me, this is where you learn how to think. And I thought, well, I thought I was thinking all along. <laughs> but I think what he meant was I was able to then look at both sides of an issue. I was able to look at bigger picture. There was no right. There was no wrong. There was no yes. There was no no. There were, you know, pros, cons. There were issues to be addressed. There were, it was problem solving which I found out that I really like. And um, so it just expanded my thought process and it expanded my world view. And uh, I tell young people that all the time, even if you don't necessarily want to practice law, having a law degree is probably one of the best advanced degrees you can have because it allows you to, to ebb and flow in a number of different areas. So I stayed in Houston after graduation for a few months. <laughs> courtesy of my dad, and then finally he called me up and he said, look, <laughs> you need to come back home and get a job. So I did. I came back and was fortunate enough to work for the Honorable Thomas Foley as a law clerk. 